Hi there, how's it going? My name is Cabinet Otter. I'm a variety streamer and I've got a lot of ideas. Most of them are pretty bad. This particular bad idea involves raccoons though, so if you like furry criminals, stay tuned. So this week's bad idea is called Rack Go Round, and with that much of an intro, let's go ahead and just get into it. So let's talk about Rack Around, which is obviously a video game about raccoons, but it also has to do with sushi. So here is your back of the box summary. You are a raccoon, king of the underworld and ruler of the night. On a stroll one night, you see something wondrous. The humans have a new eating establishment where an endless river of sushi revolves around the room. The scent of salmon and tuna fills your tiny nostrils. Your whiskers tremble. The fishies will be yours. So this is normally where I talk about the influences that helped me come up with this idea. A lot of times it's, you know, certain genres of video games, certain mechanics, certain specific titles that I enjoyed and wanted to apply a new theme to. But this time it was really as simple as I think raccoons are really cute. I like it when they grab stuff with their tiny little paws. I like it when they commit crimes. And I personally love sushi. I think it's delicious. Let's have some raccoons freaking out in some sushi restaurants. But... A normal sushi restaurant just wasn't good enough. We needed to add a little more complexity into things. So why not have the raccoons trying to rob a conveyor belt sushi place? Um, you can imagine the chaos that this would bring. Imagine, you know, this conveyor belt going around the room with a raccoon on top of it, grabbing all the sushi with their little paws, plates flying everywhere, just utter chaos. To me, that's a very funny mental image, and that's really the only thing behind this entire concept. So as much as I love the concept of a raccoon freaking out in a sushi restaurant, that isn't in and of itself a video game. So we needed to come up with some mechanics that would actually give some interest, some story, something to do along with this hilarious visual. So we came up with three phases, planning, stealth, and panic, with panic obviously being, you know, the end result of the raccoon causing chaos in a sushi restaurant. So phase one, plan. If there's one thing that raccoons are associated with, it, with, it is trash. Uh, obviously, we call them trash pandas in modern societies, so definitely something that we wanted to incorporate. And the idea here is that as a raccoon, you can go dumpster diving and find items to assemble a disguise for yourself. So maybe a little hat, maybe a little trench coat, maybe some mittens to cover up your little raccoon paws covering up as much of your little raccoon body as you can so that when you enter the restaurant, the humans think that you're just another human. They don't realize that you're a raccoon because humans in this game are idiots. So you want to find different clothing and accessories to help disguise your true nature. And potentially those different clothing items, those different accessories can have perks that can actually help you in the other phases that we'll talk about as well. Um, so definitely something that is a little more complex than just throwing together an outfit, but at the end of the day, the goal is just to cover as much of your tiny body as possible. Phase two is our stealth phase. So now that you've got your little disguise assembled, you're gonna stroll into that restaurant like you own the place and find yourself a table and just start eating sushi. But you've gotta play it cool because there's waiters, there's other guests, and they're all kind of keeping an eye on you and you don't want them to suspect that you're a raccoon because then you know, you're know you gonna have a much harder time getting that sushi. So your goal is to eat sushi to fill up your tummy happiness meter. We all know that raccoons are essentially bottomless pits. So something that is going to get more and more difficult to do as the levels increase. You also have to balance how much sushi you're grabbing um, in terms of sort of also playing it cool. So if you think about you know if a human, quote unquote, walked into a sushi restaurant and just started grabbing every single plate and chucking it into their face, other diners might start to get a little concerned. So you kind of have to play it cool so you don't raise any alarms. There's also going to be a skill check system. So, you know, when a waiter comes by or other diners pass by your table, you might need to, you know, hit a certain key to hide your little paws or maybe make a chirping noise that sounds like a human mumbling. So just little skill checks along the way to help you pass this stealth phase. Phase three is of course panic. So in the stealth phase, if you're able to fill up your tummy all the way without getting caught, then you're free to just sneak back out the way you came in um, and roll on to the next level. But if you do get caught, that's when this panic phase kicks off. 
So at this point, all of the humans know you're a raccoon. They're trying to kick you out of the restaurant. So you're just going to hop up on that conveyor belt and nab as much sushi as you can, get it into your tummy uh, before they're able to kick you out. So plates are going everywhere. There's chaos. Waiters are trying to grab you. And you are just running around on this conveyor belt, gobbling up sushi. You got to be a little careful because the more sushi you gobble, the slower you're going to go. So want to balance your speed as well as, um, you know, still being able to get that tummy meter eventually full. Um, there's also, you know, potentially traps on this conveyor belt. There's the servers trying to grab you. You don't want to fall into the plates that you've broken and get hurt. So a lot of mechanics out here. This is definitely a panic phase so very fast moving just kind of going crazy and then as soon as your tummy meter is full you're going to scramble out the door as quick as you can to move on to the next level so if you are discovered because you're hopping up onto that conveyor belt and in all the resulting chaos your disguise is destroyed if you do trigger the panic phase um but basically, this is this is the end goal of this game, right? Is to get to this hilarious moment of a raccoon freaking out in a sushi restaurant, causing massive panic in both the humans and the raccoon alike. So once the panic is fa phase is over, or if you were able to successfully complete the level in that stealth phase, you're going to move on to the next night and basically rinse and repeat like the little wash bear that you are. But each successive night, you're moving forwards in levels, so things are going to get a little more difficult as the restaurant steps up their defenses. You know, they maybe add traps, their waiters are going to be more suspicious, they're going to hire pest control companies. Potentially, they start checking ID at the door, and you're going to have to find some shiny stuff in a dumpster to pay a con man to make you some fraudulent papers so you can get into the sushi restaurant. So just a whole bunch of fun little mechanics that are going to be very silly and not make any sense in the real world. But in a world where raccoons are breaking into sushi restaurants in elaborate disguises, make complete and total sense. So just a fun little concept. That is basically it for a rack go round. And appreciate you guys sticking around for this little concept. Hey, it's me, Cabinet Otter. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more or come hang out with me live on Twitch. See you soon.